My name is Francis Foley. I'm from Abbeyfield in County Limerick and I'm currently the Mayor of Limerick City and County. It's an exceptionally busy, busy role, uh, an exceptionally fulfilling role. Uh, there's a lot of work involved in it, but there's also a lot of joy out of it. And it has given me great opportunities to get to know both the city and the county, which I represent. And uh, becoming first citizen of the city and county has been a great honour and a great experience for me. Even though I was very much involved in grassroots within Fianna Fáil, I had never seen myself even going for the council. I left school myself at 15 years of age. I was the oldest of a family of seven. Uh, going back at that time, uh, you, had, you had to contribute basically to the running of, 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 of the family. And I started working at 15 years of age and I've been working ever since. And I think it, was, it, 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 was, uh, it laid me out well for my years as council because I feel uh, I've worked in retail, I've worked in a shop, as I said, since I was 15 years of age. And I felt by my background in retail, background in a work in a shop, it's very similar to when you're dealing with public all the time, working behind the counter, being a member of the council is something similar, dealing with the public all the time. So it grounds you well, I think, it has grounded me well from my years in the council. I suppose uh, seeing myself as becoming mayor uh, and becoming a councillor to something I never ever dreamed of. And as I say, it's, it's something that just I worked uh, at various different things down through the years within regards to uh, different uh, parts within Fianna Fáil and different roads within Fianna Fáil. Uh, but I never had the idea basically that I was going to become a councillor first of all and then eventually becoming mayor. But it's been a fantastic honour both to represent uh, my area of we feel and the Newcastle West Municipal District, which I have done for over the last going on 19 years this June. Something, a role that I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, I've embraced the idea of being mayor uh, for somebody who didn't really want to be mayor initially uh, because of work commitments and so on and so forth. Uh, I didn't think I would be able to fit it, but I took a year off work to become, when I became mayor, and I found it very, very fulfilling. Uh, I've seen a, a lot of the uh, both sides now of the city and the county and I've developed a great appreciation for both city and, and for county and as first citizen it's my job to represent both the city and the county and it's something that I have feel that I've put a lot of work into. I'm happy with the amount of time I've given it and I've given it, given it my all and I've really really enjoyed it. It's been a fantastic experience and I've got to visit a lot of fantastic places in our city and in our county. And the one thing that has really stuck out to me in my 12 months and even prior to this, but especially when I've gone into more communities as mayor, is the sense of volunteer, volunteerism within the city and within the county. And I've no doubt in my mind that our city and our county is far better because of, of, the, of people and our volunteers. Because I've often said at different functions, if people were getting paid to do this work, it wouldn't, they'd be finished at six or five or six o'clock in the evening. And all these people give up their time seven days a week, 10, 11 o'clock at night. And they love, and I love to go into the communities to see and to explore what they have done. And it really gives, gives you a great sense of pride in your, in your city and county. Well, Abbeyfield, uh, as I said, as a young person growing up in Abbeyfield, I've seen a lot, a lot of changes down through the years as uh, we have uh, a lot of things going on at the present moment. Uh, we've seen major changes, I suppose, in some of the businesses have closed, more new businesses have opened. So that has evolved. Uh, we've had the Greenway uh, over the last couple of years, which has opened. And I think that's going to be a major game changer for the town of Abbeyfield and for other towns that the Greenway passes through. Uh, we're pre at present, at the moment, it's only opened in within only over two years and we've seen over a million people visit the Greenway. So uh, we're trying at the present moment in Abbeyfield now to get a better connection from the Greenway to the centre of the town to try and attract some more businesses into the town, So, which I think is very, very, very important. Another uh, issue that's happening at the present moment, we're in the process of going through uh, certain phases of a bypass of the town and I think that's going to be very, very important to the future development of Abbeyfield. When I sit back and think back on on my young days in Abbeyfield and when I was a young person walking around in town, cycling around the town and so on and so forth, and to, it's great to see how our town has evolved. 
And I suppose little did I know uh, that one day uh, when I was a young person uh, going to school in Abbeyfield, both in national and in secondary school, and then it subsequently went to work that eventually I would become uh, mayor of the city and the county. So it's been a great honour and a great privilege for me and it's been a great honour and privilege for my family. And I definitely want to thank all the people that have supported me for the last 19 years uh, as a councillor and have worked with me and encouraged me. And I, I think that's very, very important is encouragement because uh, without a bit of encouragement, uh, you, 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 you have nothing really. So I uh, want to thank everybody that has supported me. So thank you very much. And it's uh, been a great honour for me here to sit before you this morning and give you my few thoughts on my term as mayor and as councillor. Thank you.